Hi, welcome. This is a video to um, make sure that we have some kind of message that we see in TTY only. Uh, something called uh, a pent path, right? Something changed to our Arch Linux systems and they uh, changed the name and that's the only thing that happened. Now it's just a nuisance, it's not necessary, but if you want to get rid of the append path, then um, this video is all about that. Now it is also explained more or less already in 1620, where we explain what pactiv is and with a pactiv minus O, if you can still see it, you can actually a change here or give give an output and see what changed in the configuration files of, of Pac-Man, right? So it's all connected and systems will always update, right? So this is a system that we've built, I don't know, a few weeks ago, I think, but it's going to be the next one, right? From for January, uh, for <laughs> November, sorry. Um, so if we update, if things change, well, our system gets changed by Arch Linux. And one of those packages, it might have been sudo, um, changes something to our profile. And let's have a look, right mouse click, maybe we can still see it. ETC profile is here. There he is, right? But suddenly there is a profile back new. And we could figure it out if you want to know that this way. So let's move you up here. I want to see what happens to profile here. If something comes next to it, profile pack new. Now who did it, right? Sudo pacman minus Q O ETC and then profile. Who is doing this? It's file system. It's not sudo. It's file system that changes it. Okay, fine, well, whatever, uh, whoever it is, right? We want to fix it because what's now changed? We have a new application, new file system thing, and it uh, put this one over here. Well, actually put this one over here, and that's an old version. Now, normally nothing happens and you can just keep it rolling and um, never mind, right? But if you do a control F3, and that's what some people uh, found out probably on Arch D and stuff and on TTY, right? Control F3. Oops, that's not gonna work. Again, so inside the virtual box, I am pressing the right control and then F3. Then we have TTY in virtual box. And this is the thing people see. They report it on Discord and I never saw it. But you only see it here in the TTY, right? So if you are working Arch D, for instance, you start up in a black screen and then you say, hey, what's this? A pen path command not found, what's that, right? So control F7 again, we're back to the graphical part. We have these two guys. Right mouse click, make sure you're uh, in control. So open folder as root. We actually should, could have done Back diff just for my curiosity here. Will he give it? He'll give it, right? He will say, hey, there is a new profile. All right, so good. Uh, open folder as root. This means I don't need this one anymore, so I can't make my mistakes. And I need profile. Where are you? P, 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 P. These two guys. That one is the... the correct one, a new one, and that's the old one, right? So if you keep rolling, things will be um, will not be changed. Your old config will stay. If we build now today another package, another ISO I mean, so if you go to artlinksb.com uh, and you build your own ISO, you won't have that issue. It's only if you stay rolling. Compare. And now everything falls into place. Now you say, aha. Uh -huh. So it used to be a pent path without underscore and it's now going to be a pent path with underscore. That's the reason why we see the error. So basically click, well, click, 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 right? You get the new stuff in from 
pack new inside your own. And that's basically it. We keep the choice editor equals nano as our editor and we just save. That's it. That's the solution, right? And it all fits together with the other video I just showed you. So an update from file system will give a strange message. Nothing really, not a, nothing to be anxious about, but it's a strange message, right? So if I exit and I log back in, there is no more message because now we understand the underscore there. And that concludes the video. Cheers.